Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Oyin Adekunle. The United Kingdom has revealed plans to commit 12.6 million pounds to support Nigeria and other countries battle Boko Haram and ISWAP insurgency in the Lake Chad Basin. This was disclosed by the British Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab during pre a presentation at a meeting of foreign ministers from more than 45 countries in Rome under the auspices of Global Coalition Against Daesh ISIS. He said the UK is committed to burden sharing with its security allies and to serve as a force for good in the world. Other countries are Cameroon, Niger and Chad, while the federal government of Nigeria wages war against terrorists in Borno, Yobe and Adamawa State. A federal high court sitting in Lagos State has fixed October 7, 2021 for the hearing of a motion seeking the final forfeiture of the $5.78 million and $2.4 billion naira linked to former First Lady Patience Jonathan. In 2017, Justice Majisola Latorego ordered the temporary forfeiture of the funds after the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, argued that the money was reasonably subjected or suspected to be proceeds of fraud. However, midway to the conclusion of the hearing, Justice Latorego retired from the bench in 2019. The matter was then reassigned to Justice Chuka Obiozo for hearing, but Justice Obiozo could not hear the case before his transfer to the court's Benin division. At the resumed hearing of the matter on Monday, Justice Tijani Rinjim adjourned for the hearing of the motion for final for feature until October 7. The Senate has berated the management of the Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund, NSITF, over an alleged misappropriation of 84 billion naira within four years. The Senate Public Accounts Committee made the disclosure while scrutinizing the 2017 report of the Auditor General of the Federation. The chairman of the committee, Matthew Rogide, who described the agency as a cesspool of corruption, said one of the queries raised by the Auditor General observed that NSITF had been implementing a salary structure that is not approved by the National Salary. Income and Wages Commission. As a result, irregular payment of 38 billion naira by way of personnel cost was made to the staff of the fund from 2012 to 2017. The federal government has included South Africa to the category of countries banned from entering Nigeria. Chairman of the Presidential Steering Committee, Bos Mustafa, while speaking at its briefing, said the decision is due to the prevalence of variants of concern of COVID-19 and the dangers associated with imp the importation of such variants from other countries. Mustafa also announced the extension of the ban on flights from Brazil, Turkey and India by four weeks. On May 2nd, the government announced a temporary ban on non-Nigerian passengers who have been in Brazil, India or Turkey within 14 days of intended arrival into Nigeria. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has set the official price of a litre of premium motor spirits, otherwise known as petrol, will remain 162 naira in July. It added that engagements are still ongoing with the organized labor on the appropriate price of petrol. It said though the pump price should be 256 naira per litre based on the current crude oil price, the federal government through the NNPC had decided to continue paying the differential until an appropriate price is agreed upon by the government and labor. Said President Muhammad Buhari had told the corporation to do everything legally possible not to make petrol price out of reach for Nigerians, especially at this critical moment. South Africa's former president, Jacob Zuma, has been sentenced to 15 months by the country's highest court. Zuma is accused of enabling the plunder of state coffers during his nearly nine-year stay in office. He's also separately facing 16 charges of fraud, graft, and racketeering relating to a 1999 purchase of fighter jets, patrol boats, and military gear from five European armed um, arms firms for 30 billion rands, then equivalent to nearly $5 billion. is accused of accepting bribes totaling 4 million rand from one of the firms, which is French defense giant Tails. And it's for a total of 61 athletes will fly Nigeria's team uh, flag in nine different sporting events at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, scheduled to take place from July 23rd to the 8th of August 2021. The Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development said this during a plenary meeting with the National Sports Federation, whose athletes qualified for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games and Paralympic Games at the Moshud Abiola National Stadium in Abuja. The minister thanked the National Federations and their officials that made Team Nigeria able to qualify in their various events at Tokyo 2020. The first batch of Team Nigeria athletes are scheduled to depart for Kizarazu on 6th of July 2021, while the second batch will also depart for Japan on the 13th of July. And that's the latest update on the newsroom at this time. Please join us again at the top of the half for more.